Hey there, baseball fans. I'm Ben, and I'm back with some more from this box of 1993 Donruss. We are looking through these. I'm going to rip open these packs. I'm looking for that card that you see right on the front here, that Ryan Sandberg Diamond King insert, one that I was I'm hoping to get out of this. But I'd be honestly pretty happy with any Diamond King and or any insert. they got the Elite Series in here, uh, plus some autograph possibilities. Plus, these cards are just great-looking cards, so maybe we can get some stars or some of my favorite players out of here. And we're going to see where we get. Look at that. First pack, a Larry Walker Diamond King. This might be one of the worst-looking, uh, least flattering um, Dick Perez paintings here that we've seen. But a Larry Walker Diamond King, awesome card to get. Super excited about that one. Look at that. Rhino in the very first pack, too. I'm not sure I even have this in my collection, so that'll be, I'm really excited about that. Add that one to my to my list, to my collection. One of these days I'm gonna take you guys through my personal collection of favorite players with Ryan Sandberg, Sean Dunstan, Mark Grace, Nolan Ryan. You can see all I've got for those guys. You hear me talk about them enough. The least I can do is show them to you. There's a Mike Piazza, rated rookie. So awesome. That's a great one to add. So far, so good, man. How about we get two of them? It's so good. There's Ron Gant throwing from his seat. And John Smoltz. So here we got one, two, three, four Hall of Famers, including one insert. That is a pretty darn good start to this whole thing in just two packs. Marquise Grissom. Sammy Sosa. Not hitting it very far there, Sammy. I'm doing a nice splits there. Yvonne Rodriguez. Pudge. Oops. Broken bat picture on the back there. That's a nice, nice card. Pat Mahomes. Rookie card. That's worth pulling aside at least. Paul Molitor in there. I was going to say, we, we almost got through that pack, but nothing worth talking about. We get a Paul Molitor just towards the end. That's the thing, fun thing about baseball cards, and that's why ripping packs is so fun, because you just never know what you're going to get. Could be anything in here. Good shot of Leo Gomez making a grab. Those are bright. Oh, there's a Frank Thomas. All right. Coming off a pretty darn good season. 93 ended up being a, an MVP year for him, if I recall correctly. And he's American League MVP for Frank Thomas in 93. Roberto Kelly. Oh, so not a lot of good stuff in that one. All right. Tim Costo, Iowa Hawkeye player there. Fred McGriff. <laughs> Kevin Baez. Look at him in his Converse tennis shoes. <laughs> I mean, like that is like you're posing for your little league picture there, Kevin. I like that. Whatever happened to that guy? Let's find out. Mickey Morandini. There's another Frank Thomas. Let's get another one since we got one. Why not make it two? Rico Baronia. I really like to read. This is a rookie card for him. Rico Baronia, when he was on the on the Phillies, he was a big, uh, big part of my enjoyment of that team when he was with the Phillies. What a great name for an announcer, too. Now batting, Rico Baronia.
Lance Parrish. Funny, because he's a catcher, but he's not really playing catcher there, is he? Interesting. I wonder what that's all about. And our last pack here. I kind of noticed it's like one Diamond King uh, per session, so maybe four for the box. Seems, seems to be kind of the, the ratio here. Ozzy Guillen with a nice wide stance. Ooh, holy cow. There's Daryl Strawberry. And that'll do it. So, to recap, we got a big Ryan Sandberg here, which makes me super happy. Strawberry, Paul Molitor, couple Frank Thomas, Pat Mahomes, Yvonne Rodriguez, Sammy Sosa, two Mike Piazza rookies, uh, John Smoltz, and the Larry Walker Diamond King insert. But now, we are going to find out the question that's burning in everyone's mind, whatever happened to Kevin Baez and his fancy Converse sneakers. So let's find out. Looks like he's a baseball lifer. All right, debut in 1990, 63 games in his career. It's not very good. 27 for 126. Seven career RBIs. So, batting average of 179. No homers and seven RBIs. Only for the Mets, though. Stayed with one team, at least. And uh, manager and third base coach for the Long Island Ducks. All right. Ran clinics and his... Manager for the Ducks. And what demands the Rockland Boulders? Currently works as an instructor at Matt Guiana's Play Like a Pro Sports Facility. All right, so he's found a way to stick around the game of baseball as a coach, as a manager, a little bit as a player, and then uh, coaching kids who are trying to become baseball players these days. So there you go, Kevin. Hats off to you. Um, hopefully you're molding some young baseball talent of the future. The rest of you, we'll see you next time.